guys and welcome back to another video. I hope this series is to be one of many. Today we're going to be making garlic powder and onion powder here at home. This is going to be a two day video but obviously it's going to be combined into one video. Today we're going to do onion powder first and then tomorrow we're going to do garlic powder. Please try to do this early in the morning because it's going to be a very time consuming process. Not for you but for your either your oven, your dehydrator or your air fryer. If you don't have a dehydrator like I don't, you can check out your air fryer and see if it has a option that says dehydrate and that's what you'll use. But if you have a dehydrator then that's great or you can use your oven or my last option, you can use the sun. It doesn't get more natural than that. If you have the patience, what you're gonna do is after you chop these up, after you chop up the onions, you're gonna take them outside your garden and you're just gonna place them out in the sun and you're gonna have to wait three to four days yes you heard that right three to four days now i really ideally i wanted to do that but i live in an apartment and i can't leave onions outside because there's no direct sunlight to it but if you have a backyard then that's great i suggest i think that's the best route the sun can't beat it today we're gonna be using the air fryer i'm not a gordon ramsay so i'm just gonna cook it to the best of my ability don't judge me this is not a how to cut onions video okay i'm using 48 ounces of onion you can use however much onion you want however much onion powder you want to make now me at this house we use up a lot of onion powder and garlic powder that is the main reason why i'm making this video so then you're gonna take the take the skin off all the onions and then we're gonna cut it up i also want to mention that you can also use your onion skin too to make onion powder so if you want to use this as well you can And you want to cut these up into small sizes. Once you have your mountain of onions and a hundred tiers later, then I have put the skins aside right here and I made a pile for the trash. All right, you guys, after a lot of research and literally no help from the internet, I'm just going to be testing this out because my oven is the least amount of temperature that it does at 170 Fahrenheit and it says to do below 170 Fahrenheit, but my oven can only do 170 so I'm gonna try to do 170 for five hours and come back to check on it because ideally it wanted you to use 150 Fahrenheit so we're just gonna put this in here for five hours in the oven and I used aluminum foil and this is ready for us so yeah go ahead and put a timer on that and we'll come back in five hours maybe in two just to check how it's doing and then for the ninja air fryer we're gonna actually dehydrate the skins so i put the skins in there for the dehydrator i'm honestly just going to be guessing because nothing in the internet is helping me at all so i don't know let's do 135 okay well then let's do the lowest setting for an hour it's been about eight hours later to be exact and this is about ready this really has been going on for the entire day and you can tell they're ready because they're all crispy and if you touch them they're not your typical onion so now we're gonna put this in a blender I apologize for the angle if it's not the best angle but now we're gonna put this what well, we just got out of the oven in the blender I love how this is all we get. <laughs> all right, let's see how much we can get out, out of this. I have a Hamilton Beach blender. I'm gonna select grind. So now that I'm satisfied with how it looks, this is the best that my blender can do. If you have a better grinder, then use that. But this is what I have, so that's what I'm going to use. And I, could, I wish I could take this, scrape this, and use this because there's some good stuff right here. Then you got to get one of these things. I don't know what this is called. Filter. You're going to put this in here. And it's crazy how long this process takes considering this is all we got. And I'm already I'm using a container that already has onion powder in it. The white one is the one that was already in there, and then the brown one is my onion. There you go. And that's how you make onion powder. Did 
This is what the ones from the air fryer look like. Honestly, it looks like nothing much happened. So maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. But I'm going to test it out and see if it grinds it or not. This is what the onion skin looks like. And that was the best grading I could do. So I'm actually going to label this and put this in another container. So grabbing this container right here. I'm going to place this here. Onion skin. And there you have it. Another day, different seasoning we're going to make. Today we're making a garlic powder. I'm going to use three. Each pack of these comes in five bolts. Let's get to peeling and cutting. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of the skin in a bucket and then wash it and then try to dry out the skin. Then I'm separating the cloves. Now, real quick, I did just want to talk about garlic and pricing. Uh... Garlic is not cheap, okay? So, I think, personally, is cheaper to just buy garlic powder at the store. Nothing is going to be as good as you making it at home because you already know, you know, what's going into it because you're the one touching everything, so. I mean, but if you have the money for it and the patience for this, then, you know, it's actually been a couple weeks since I filmed my uh, how to make onion powder. And I know I'm putting this together in one video, but my boyfriend said it was really good. He said he actually preferred the onion powder that we made at home because it was stronger. And that was a real compliment. That was a big compliment for me. I felt really good about that, you know, because, you know, other people are noticing the difference between the taste of onion, onion powder uh, at the store versus made at the house. So I thought that was really neat. So try it out. See if your family likes it. And let me know if you guys like it. If you guys think it's better than onion powder at the store. Because it's stronger. Okay, I'm going to repeat this step and I'll come back once everything's situated. Real quick, I wanted to share a method that this lady did of how to take the skin off faster. Because this is going to take me forever. She just kind of grabbed a knife and smushed it. And that way it comes off quicker. Now, it won't always be that effective, but honestly... Something is better than nothing because otherwise I'm going to be here all day. When you do this stuff at home, you kind of learn to value why things are the prices that they are because this takes time, okay? You know, I don't know, I feel like some people think some things are expensive for no reason but they do. This takes time, labor, you know? So what it should look like when the skin's off, that's what it should look like. This time, I'm not going to be making the garlic powder in the air fryer at all because honestly, I find that the best method is with the oven, not the air fryer. For me personally, I think it's just my air fryer, but you know, every air fryer performs differently. So I showed you guys my onion powder in the air fryer and I don't know, I just prefer it in the oven personally. If you wanted to, you know, start your own garden for garlic powder, you can. You can use this, plant it, and you will get garlic. So this was me washing the skins. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't think I'll ever do garlic powder at home again. So then I put the onion skins in the oven at 315 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, it really wasn't done. So then I put the temperature to 330 and then I did seven minutes on one side and then I flipped this baking sheet over and did the other side for seven minutes so that makes sense and this is what you get then I'm gonna blend it in the blender this is what mine came out to look like it's funny how you know at first, it was all the way up here, and this is all we get. Now I'm going to use an empty spice can that I have, and this is what you get. It filled up the entire jar. I finally cut up all the garlic cloves and took the skin off. I'm not going to lie, I might never do this again because, I kid you not, taking the skin off of this took one hour plus so mm -mm. and then i recommend you wear gloves because it burns so i put it in the oven for 340 fahrenheit for 15 minutes so i blended the garlic powder this is all i was able to get and let me show you why 
if you have a blender and you're using this, uh, I don't know if I did something wrong, but a lot of the garlic gets stuck at the bottom, if you can see it. And I was too ashamed to show y'all, but I really, really tried to get the, as much as I could because garlic is expensive. I was able to get all this at least. And that concludes how to make some of the common spices that we find in our day-to-day -day dishes. Let me know what other spices you would like me to make at home. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.